Hello, everybody. Dr. Lonnie Stewart here from the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. Are you a physical therapy student about to start studying for the National Physical Therapy Examination? Or maybe you're a professor, a program director, or a clinical instructor who teaches DPT students preparing for the NPTE? Either way, we would recommend checking out our sponsor, NPTE Final Frontier, and the community they've built around preparing for and succeeding on the NPTE. That exam and the preparation that goes along with it can be long, tedious, difficult, and stress-inducing, but it doesn't have to be. NPTE Final Frontier has the tactics and resources to help address all of the usual barriers. They even have scholarships to help with NPTE study courses, FSBPT registration fees, and even research opportunities. And if that's not enough, they're even donating to the very first annual HET Podcast Scholarship to be awarded at the end of every year. Go to NPTEFF.com for all of the details and use code HET for 10% off all purchases. Links to both the NPTE Final Frontier and their scholarship options are available in the show notes. And now, let's get ready to learn. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. This is a Teach Me Something Tuesday episode, the first of the year, centered around a multi-episode a take on AI, artificial intelligence. We know it's coming. We can't stop it. Students are going to use it. They probably should use it. It can be a time saver. Professors should probably be using it too. Create, help create lesson plan outlines, et cetera. So given that we know AI is coming, how can we prepare for it? And how can we use it most beneficially and ethically in the world of academia? The first thing we have to talk about in today's main episode is all about prompts, right? I learned that AI, artificial intelligence, basically uses prompts to get smart, to figure out what it is you're looking for, how to respond, what information to pull. If we're looking at maybe an assignment or or a discussion or something revolving around a prompt, we have to give it in a manner that is going to make the students kind of go into AI curiously and inquisitively and really think about what it is that is being asked of them. So when we're trying to create a prompt-based assignment, we have to think about something that's going to make the students think about the topic and and what is truly at the root of the, the question. AI is going to go ahead and actually personalize the feedback and tailor its output to the student and the prompts that it asks. Uh, or the student asks AI. So it's important that we, we really think about how each individual student can get the most out of this. It then creates kind of a dialogue, like a Q&A, a back and forth, uh, as they try to dig deeper and get the right answers of, uh, from AI, the, the, the true answers, the deep meaning they're looking for. Just like if we were to ask a patient several questions regarding an evaluation to really get down to the root of the problem and what we're trying to find out. And then last but not least, we could even ask the students to take a different perspective. So if, uh, you know, the question is, what are your thoughts on the current state of Medicare, for instance, we could say, if you believe that Medicare is uh, working and it's a great system, then let's take the opposite perspective. And I want you to do your research and ask AI what it thinks about the other side of the coin so that you could then defend uh, that Medicare is not working, or if you feel that it's not working, vice versa. So that's just some good ways to kind of think about prompts and switching things up and and what's what's going to come when a student enters prompts into artificial intelligence or AI program. In order to make sure that this truly works for your assignment or your discussion or whatever you're trying to accomplish, you have to first try the prompt yourself. So go in, play around with it, Ask AI the questions and the prompts that you want it to to solve and see how it's going to work for you. Uh, And then kind of visualize that and imagine what that's going to look like for the students. Next, you want to have a conversation with the students before the assignment about, hey, we know AI is here. We know it's coming. We hope that you use it and we hope that you use it ethically. You know, here's some guidelines, right? You've got to set guidelines on proper use of AI. You know, here's how you should be using it. Here's how you shouldn't be. Here's how you can use it ethically. Here's the things that are going to get you in trouble. And then last but not least, and I do this with all of my students that want to use an AI 
version for their assignments. I make them reflect. I have them write a one page paper if they're going to choose to use AI for an assignment about how the assignment went, how the use of AI helped them or hindered them, what they had to go in and fix, what was really good. This way they go back and reflect on what worked and what didn't, and they can become smarter as they do their assignments, just like AI is becoming smarter with the prompts that they feed. So I hope that was helpful with regards to AI prompts, and we'll see you on the next one. Hello, everybody. Dr. F. Scott Field here, and we don't do this nearly enough. Uh, I wanted to thank you as an audience for being here, for listening to the shows. Without you guys, we wouldn't have anybody to geek out with uh, over education and learning and teaching and educating. So thank you for, for being here, for being you know faithful listeners over the years. Uh, also, if possible, we'd love to ask a favor. We don't do this often, but if you could leave a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen to this podcast, we would greatly appreciate it. It helps boost our rankings and our algorithm and really just helps get this message out to more people out there in healthcare education who, who may need you know some of the episodes and the experts that we interview. So if you could, like I said, leave a rating and review, we would greatly appreciate it. And we will see you on the next show.